This episode is sponsored by Adobe. Lightroom is the industry leading photo editing software that allows you to edit on your computer or on the go. I use Lightroom for my Instagram photos and I love that I can edit the same photo from the mobile app or my desktop and the edits sync up. Try it out for yourself by checking the link in the video description. So, Should we like piss off a bunch of Italians and say it wrong? There's no way we're not gonna piss off Italians right now. So today we're making pines, today we're making pin, 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 pinis, 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 pinis. Pins A. Penis. Hey there folks, today on Basics with Babish, I'm joined by a very special guest. Ethan, how do you pronounce your last name? Chabowski. Ethan Chabowski is here. <laughs> today we are joined by Ethan Chabowski. Did I say it right? You did. Yes. <laughs> Who is here to teach me about how to make something I've wanted to make for a long time? It's something true. called pinza. Pinza. And this, you might have clicked on this video because we called it healthier pizza, which it is. It is. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, Depends what you put on top, I guess. It, yeah, but it, it's a higher protein. Higher, higher protein. Fi higher fiber. Lower calories. Zero carbs. Still carbs. No fat, though. Maybe let's, a little. Let's scrap this. Let's get out of here. <laughs> We've got uh, higher hydration, so typically around 80%. We've That's got a very mix high of flours. Okay. So in addition to regular wheat, we've got some rice flour and some soy flour. So higher protein. Very good for you. Bonus, you know, get, yeah. get muscular. I mean, look at us. And How then, do you think we got um, this way by, by eating pizza? We're eating yeah. pizza over here. And then lastly, it's typically a long fermentation time. So some people say better digestion. I don't know the science behind that, but. I do. Sounds good. I say that. I don't know the science behind it either, but I say it. Don't zoom in on me. Do you make it by hand? Do you make it in a stand mixer? What can you make? I it mean, by? I don't own a stand mixer, so I make it by hand. I make pretty much all. I know what to get you hand. for Christmas. Yeah. Do you celebrate Christmas? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have everything beautifully. These are pre-measured. Pre-measured oh, for us great. by kitchen producer extraordinaire Kendall Beach. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, so tell me what, what we're looking at here. So yeah, <laughs> 425 grams of bread flour, so a little bit uh, higher protein than your. Typical yeah, all-purpose. Better gluten development. Exactly. Okay. Then we have 50 grams of rice powder, which is kind of a little grainy. Do you want to say rice powder or is it rice flour? Rice flour. Oh, okay. Actually. All right. That's one of them. And yeah, it is a little grainier. Yeah. Uh, what's that going to do for our texture? Uh, it's going to leave a slightly different kind of chewier feel to it. And I love chewier feels. It, it's nice. And then last on our list, we have some soy flour. So this is pretty high protein. Don't remember how high up offhand, but this is really high protein. Nice. Do, do we add the yeast at this uh, point? Yeah, that we, we could add all the dry at first. Oh, okay. Uh, are you paranoid about uh, salt and yeast being not at all. combined? That's my man. This is a man of science, not of false religions. You want to do the honors? I would love two tiny whisk. Available now on Amazon. <laughs> okay, so okay. now we'll come in with our, we can do the olive oil first, I suppose. Doesn't or, really matter. We're together. Ooh. This is like oil and water. It's just, I like hands. So I'll, I'll let you do the honors. And this will be wet. I'm just gonna get into it. And this is a very high hydration yeah, dough. Yeah, so 80% hydration, very high. Can be a little scary for some people. I'm scared. So it will feel very wet and you'll, you'll go through this moment where you're like, I don't think this is gonna come together and you're gonna wanna try to add more flour and you just gotta not do It that. is so sticky, so what's your means of kneading it? So yeah, if you were doing the same day, actually uh, probably a two hour stretch and fold. Ah. So, so a little bit gentler. If you are doing the long cold fermentation, you actually don't really need to go through the kneading because it'll naturally hydrate, just like a no knead. Dough. You don't need to knead. Yeah. That is rather a wet dough, but we are going to cold ferment it overnight, yep. right? And uh, that should both develop the gluten and uh, that's it. Well, is this mixed enough for, for the cold ferment? I would get all that flour out Let's of there. Let's go. Get it, get it all combined so we can we can see our beautiful faces in that bowl. Oh, waste not, want not, you know? Cool. Yeah, I think, I think that's good enough. And then, uh, yeah, if you were doing the same day, let it rest before you start kneading it again, just because everything will kind of slack and we'll avoid yeah, sticky hands. Absolutely. All right, let's cover this up. Just let this hydrate and then knead it a little bit more. Yeah, and then, then we'll do our stretch and folds. We'll do our stretch so and folds. every like 30 minutes for probably two hours and that'll be enough gluten. Rocking. All right, well, we'll uh, do that or not and uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, we're, doing, we're gonna do something. It's, what? What? I know, just, I know I I'm the one like talking right now. <laughs> no, no just... that puts pressure on me. <laughs> <laughs> the video will um, go on after this. Yeah. We promise. Uh, well, it'd be funny if we just cut to black. 
So for demonstration purposes, we have two different kinds of pizza dough here. Yep. We have pizza, yep. and we have a New York style pizza dough. Yep. Let's take a look at the differences, shall we? Oh my holy fucking God. Would you look at the difference in these? This one's much shorter. It's much shorter. And this one has very clearly much higher hydration. Yeah. Look at how it's gooing around in there. The big differences are gonna be the hydration. So mm. yeah, 80% and then this in New York style, probably around 60%. Mm. So way more water in this one, which is actually part of what makes it healthier because it's lower calorie because for an equal size piece of this though, there's more water in it. Whereas there's more flour in this, mm. which lower calorie because there's less flour for an equal size piece. So, I don't have any questions about this. <laughs> You've made it very clear what's happening, and that's that. For those of us who want pizza right now, not right now, but in several hours instead of several days, what do we do? Uh, yeah, so you just do a basic kneading process that you do like sourdoughs or really anything. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna do the stretch and fold right in the bowl. It's really sticky, so you don't wanna knead this on the counter. Okay. So right now, this has been resting for about 15 minutes, but it's still like pretty sticky. Mm. So you can see like this wants to stick to me. Yeah. So if you are gonna do this, just put a little bit of water on just the edge of your fingertips and it's gonna help it not stick. And then we're just gonna kind of lift it from the bottom of each corner. And you can already see- Look at that. It's, it's almost already fast starting fast. to go. But we're just gonna turn the bowl, fold it over onto itself. I like to do about four. Yeah. And then just kind of flip it over onto itself. Uh. And then that's it. We're gonna let this go for another 30 minutes and then do that again. You probably wanna do this at least three times until again, you're still looking for that same gluten window. You can already see it becoming a cohesive, beautiful dough. Like it's it's sticky, but like yep. a minute ago it was this lumpy mass and now you've got this smooth sheen forming yep. on the outside. By the time you do this four or five times, it's gonna be the best pizza you ever had in your life. That's a babish guarantee. So we have this batch here that has been cold fermenting for two days and boy is it gorgeous. Look at the bubs. Look at those bubs. Beautiful. What's, ooh, ooh, oh. <laughs> I liked that. Oh, oh. All right, so this has been cold fermenting for a few days and I can already tell just from looking at it that it's gonna be much more, yeah, it's much more handleable. It's yep. not as sticky. It's very slack, it's very high yep. hydration, but it's not sticking. So do you like to do this with bench flour or oil? Uh, flour, yeah, okay. the, the white rice flour. So, yeah, so this is kind of one of the signature flours of the pizza dough and it just helps give it a nice, it's almost like cornmeal like, yeah, you know, when you feel it. Yeah, gives a little texture. Yeah. I'm gonna work right there, but I'm sure. gonna separate these out into roughly 185 gram pieces. Weighing dough has done a lot for me, which is showing me that you can really f with the dough. <laughs> you can really punch it down, tear it up, and it doesn't really matter as long as yeah. you get it in a good shape for proofing. Exactly. So you're at a buck 88. Is that where you want to live? That's cl that's close enough. 180 to 190 should be perfectly fine. Rock okay, it. so you want to sprinkle some right there, and then we'll just toss those on the flour, and then we'll shape them up for yeah. proofing. All right, and I'm gonna put these in our proofing container, but you could use two sheet trays. Here's the rice flour going down. Yeah, and then another method you could do to tighten these up, just do, do a little fold over guy, like into itself. And then I just kind of fold them over like this. Ooh. And then just kind of seal it up like that. Good to go. Another thing I like to do is and just sort of, this is how I used to do it before I knew what I was doing. And it works, is just sort of push it through your hand like this. Yep. This is a little bit too wet for that, <laughs> but that's okay. Still ends up being Pretty yeah, good. a nice little pizza pretty, ball. Pretty solid little pizza ball. Oh, you're dusting the tops too. A little dust, yeah. And Torresante. Uh, this is gonna be interesting to roll out, they're so wet. Yeah, so we don't actually roll them. Stay tuned to find out. We're gonna cover these, let them proof at room temperature for yep. two hours? Two hours or so. Till doubled in size? Yeah, about doubled, should right. be fine. And then we're gonna make some pizza. Yeah. All right, we'll be standing here motionless until then. So Ethan, it's been two hours. Should we open this up and see, what, see, what's for, see, what, see what we got for Christmas? Let's do it. I hope Santa got me some dough. So now we get into the shaping phase, yeah? Yeah. Let's shape. All right, let's wanna, do it. I'm gonna watch you do it So first. we're gonna throw a ton of the white rice flour down here. This will not only help it, or stop it from sticking, but also give it some nice texture too. Yeah, and it's, it's an ovular. Exactly, yeah, it's a, so it's longer than it is wide. Yeah. And, and we're actually just gonna like 
pinch it. Is there any reason for that, or is it just so it's like, this isn't pizza, okay? Let's I think it's because it's a little bit easier, because it's, a, it's a, still a high hydration dough, so I think it is kind of hard to roll out if you were to go the roll out route. True. Okay, let's see, let's see your, your action. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of press it out. Okay. It's pretty much what we would do with a normal za. Yeah, nothing, nothing too weird, and you can see we get Nice bubbles, Good bubs. super, super light. If they are springing back, these are springing back a little bit, we can let them kind of just rest out for a little bit longer. Yeah. And then uh, they should be easier to spring. This feels like play sand. Kind of does. We're going to eat this? It will be edible. All right. Those are about the same size, yeah, right? Yeah, good enough. Okay. Let's uh, throw one in the oven, shall we? Let's do it. We want to dust this guy too, right? Yep. Uh, dust it, dust it, dust it. Do you like to put it on lengthwise or widthwise? Um, good either way. Honestly, I feel like lengthwise, lengthwise is going to be yeah. I slide easier. Okay, let's put some double check that we're sliding we're too. Sl we're slipping, sliding all over the damn place. All right. Let's uh, sauce and cheese it, and uh, basil on obviously before it goes in the oven. I'm kidding. <laughs> Only that's, before. That's how you get. I want it very peeled. burnt. We have our steel that's preheated in this right. 500 or maxed out oven yep. for an hour, and that's very important because the steel takes a long time to soak up that heat. And if you put if you put the pizza on a cold steel, it's not going to cook. Yeah. Probably should just let you say that. No, that's good. I'm kind of steamrolling kind of a little bit. It. Okay, thank you so much. Well, yeah. here we go. Speaking of killing it, let's kill it. Ooh, it's hot. What's our cook time look like? Uh, probably between like three to four minutes, if I had to guess. There it is, folks. And healthier pizza. Uh, yeah, let's throw a little basil on there. This is your pie. Do the honors. Ooh, listen to that. You ever finish your pizzas with a little bit of oil? I do love me some pizza oil. Oh, it smells so good. Woo! Steaming hot. Look at that. Let's get a nice stretch here. Ooh. Oh, it's holding up. Let's try it out. It's genuinely great pizza. It just has more protein and, and, and um, fiber and uh, fewer calories, right? Yeah. Crunchy. Crunchy. Chewy. Chewy. Love the chew. Love the chew. I love that you, uh, you know, when we first started talking about this, you were asking to make a healthier version of something. Yeah. And what a brilliant way. To not, not make pizza healthy, just make it a little better for you. It's kind you. of like a compromise, yeah. you know? It's not like... But it's not a compromise on flavor. No. Better, so well, texture. Say. Yeah. Like, it's got lots of flavor yeah. to it, but not like a weedy, you know, yeah. sort of a, a whole wheat kind yeah. of kind It's of not flavor. like a cauliflower pizza. Like, it's, this is proper, yeah. well-made, just a little bit Really healthy. Italian pizza. Yeah. yeah. Let's make another one, and let's see what happens when we do it in a higher temp oven. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got some brownie. Oh, yeah, that's good. And you did it. Yeah. Speaking of which, Looks, she's looking well good. done. We got ourselves a solid pizza. Looking good to me. Out the oven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's 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 the sauce. There is our outdoor pizza. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Shall we try it? Yeah. You gonna do the cheese pull for us? Try to. Ooh. Mm. This is good. It hurts, but it tastes so good. Well, that's amazing, dude. And uh, I understand you're going to whip up uh, another variety yep. with uh, some toppings on it while I go sit down because uh, it's a special. <laughs> <laughs> no, also it's my show now. <laughs> <laughs> Essentials with Ethan. That's good. The under the Babish Culinary Universe. What do you want? Uh, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, we're going to bake this one without anything on it. What? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. It's getting wild. A little squirt of olive oil or something? Yeah, or? yeah. Okay, nice. Throw a, little, throw a little bit, get some help with the browning. Ooh, what about some flaky salt? Some yeah, finishing totally, salt. totally. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna, this is gonna be my favorite one. <laughs> it's just gonna be bread with salt on it. It's my favorite shit. That's beautiful. All right, so this is probably my favorite thing to do with this. Because mm -hmm. I like, I don't know, it's not about eating salad on a, on a, on a bowl of carbs. It makes it a lot more enjoyable. We're going arugula. Yeah. Little, just a little vinaigrette. And this wilts a little bit from yeah. the heat. All right, then we're to come more toppings. Some chicken. Chicken. Ricotta. Ricotta. Sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried. Little pesto. Little pesto. Pickled onions would have been very good on this too. Uh, who forgot the pickled onions? I'm sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, let's eat it. Should we slice? Slice it, yes. Let's use, let's use that. This? this is a little. Yeah, this is a little precarious. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at this. This is a meal in itself. We've lost all of it, but mm, that's a revelation. Yeah. It's great. It, it feels 
relatively healthy, I guess, even though it's bread. Ish, Ish. kind of. Yeah, um, kind of. Dude, that was delicious and not that bad for us, right? Not at all. You heard it here, folks. Ethan Jabowski has an amazing YouTube channel, lots of healthy foods, lots of food science, and lots of fun. Go check it out. It's links in the video description. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks again to Adobe for sponsoring today's episode. Lightroom gives you incredible editing control with easy to use editing tools and presets. There's a new feature I think is particularly cool, super resolution. On desktop, you can quadruple a photo's resolution, perfect for getting large prints. The flexibility is key. I love that I can take a photo on my phone and easily edit it in the Lightroom app before posting it. Try it for yourself by clicking the link in the video description.